gonna call this the day of revelation. So we're gonna call this. Um, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you guys. I'm gonna try my best to get through this. Um, I'm gonna try my best to get through it. Y'all gonna have to be patient with me today. So, who, all right, who, and y'all know usually I am totally um, together and I can face anything because God is my source and God is my strength. But that does not mean um, that we don't get tired sometimes, you know what I'm saying? We get tired. But in those moments when you feel tired, in those moments when you feel you're not your strongest, that is exactly whenever you have to allow the strength of our God to really allow us to um, to overcome, you know what I'm saying? And um, to push through, to push through. And that's what we're going to do today on this live, all right? We're going to push through today. Um, so let's get right into it. I know everybody has been on social media and everybody has seen everything that's been taking place and what's been going on. Um, and for me, it feels a little bit like PTSD for me is what I'll say. Um, as soon as <laughs> you are trying to heal and walk in your healing and you are trying to, you know, rebuild yourself, rebuild your life, rebuild everything that you walked away from, boom, here goes something else. And boom, here goes something else, right? And so it starts to make it, it begins to feel like straight PTSD. I want y'all to think for a minute and imagine if you were on any random street anywhere, on, on any random street, and you saw a man beating up a woman right in your face. You see this man constantly hitting, 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 and attacking this woman. Where on any street would we say that that's okay? Would you turn a blind eye? Would you join in and fight back? Would you turn a blind eye? Would you join in and fight back? Now, okay, now, what I'm going to say is, I literally feel like that's what I've been doing the past three years. Is as a woman and as a female, I feel like I've been fighting a man the past three years. Longer than that, but on a, on a bigger, in a bigger scheme, the past three years. Where do we ever sit back and just say that that's okay? Where do we ever sit back and just feel like it's okay? <sighs> um, I don't address everything, and y'all know that, but this I'm, on a, I'm gonna address. We're gonna call this, like I said, the day of revelation. That's what we're gonna call this. So, let's start with the first thing, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal a few things. We're gonna start with the first thing. First of all, I've seen and I know about Carson and what she recently revealed in the last couple of days. Um, it's disturbing. Um, took me a little while to process it. Um, I feel that you got to be some kind of low to even consider or think about 
asking or doing such a thing. I know that it's true. Okay. I know that it's true. And the reason I know that it's true is because when I posted last year sometime about, oh, so revenge porn, really? That was because a screenshot from this video of myself and my then husband, he had actually sent it to me. Um, he sent it to me after he did a live um, discussing the custody case, which was something, by the way, that I never wanted to discuss, never wanted to talk about it. If you pay attention and watch the show, I didn't speak about it till the last episode of last season. That was because I literally had been telling production, nope, nope, this involves my kids. I'm not talking about it. Nope, nope, nope. Finally, they were like, Melody. You got to say something because you're not saying anything, but you're showing us things outside of the camera and we're getting one side. You got to say something. Then I finally said just a little bit at that time. Um, but so there was a video alive that he did where he literally talked about the case and came for me. And I responded to that live. Whenever I responded to that live, he sent me a screenshot of the video from the video. And I know the video. I remember where we were. It, I, you remember details of things. I remember the video that we did um, with my then husband, by the way, just in case any of y'all are questioning that. Um, and said pretty much like, stop talking about me. I'm going to drop this. Even though I responded to a live you just did about me. Wow. <laughs> but okay, bet. So, um, I then took to social media and said, revenge porn. Really, I don't do threats. I do promises. Sent the screenshot to my attorney with the text message. I have all of that. Um, and... Then that was that, right? So for a couple of days ago, for someone to reach out, because Carson, just so y'all know, she did reach out to me directly um, a few days ago. So if you think that she didn't, she did. She came to me privately and directly with the information. Um, and I knew she was telling the truth. I knew she was telling the truth um, because, and by the way, this was August of 2022, y'all. But I knew she was telling the truth because he sent me a screenshot from the video. And I remember the video. So, um, I never in a million years would have thought that you walking away or leaving a situation, divorcing someone that it will result in um, them going to the depths of the earth all the way to hell to try to literally paint you a certain way, make people believe that you're a certain way, that you're promiscuous, that you was cheating on them in the marriage. All of these things I've sat back and listened to and really chose not to fully address them because it was laughable. Like, it was laughable because I knew all of the untruths in it. 